in education matters, the Memphis Shelby County School District officially has a new leader. Yes, Dr. Marie Fagans officially took over as superintendent today, two months after she was hired by the school board. WRAG's Quimitra Wilborn breaks down her plans for her first 100 days on the job. There's a new boss in town, and she's making her rounds at schools across the Memphis Shelby County School District. Dr. Marie Fagans officially started her first day as the new MSCS superintendent. Okay, band. Melrose High School was the first stop of many in her Voices Improve Partnership Community Tour. Throughout the month of April, Fagans will visit various schools and host numerous community meetings in neighborhoods across the city. Working with the community, community in its broadest sense, right, uh, is what matters most. Melrose High alum Denise Williams Green says she hopes an issue Fagans will address is the disconnect between students' home and school life. Tardiness or absenteeism would not be at an all-time high if the home life were more conducive to learning. In a letter to the community, Fagans outlines her three-phase plan for her first 100 days. Phase one consists of immersing herself in the community to engage with local leaders, school officials, students, and parents. In phase two, she says she will publish a transition report with recommendations to build strong relationships, deliver an unrivaled education, and modernize school facilities. And for phase three, she says she plans on presenting the school board with a comprehensive three to five year strategic plan outlining the district's future. District 9 board member and vice chair Joyce Doris Coleman says she has faith in Fagan's ability to lead the district. The same energy that she started with this morning, that little hopping and ready to go, that same energy maintained for our children, for our schools, for our educators, you know, and I think that she's going to do it. Reporting from Orange Mound, Quimitra Woolborn, WREG, New Channel 3. Wishing Dr. Fagans the best as she leads the district. By the way, tonight at 6 o'clock, the district is hosting a community meet and greet with Superintendent Fagans at Red Zone Ministries in Orange Mound. Registration for the event is encouraged, but not required.